it's time to show you all the tools and software that I use to run a million dollar junk removal business. I'm gonna show you everything that I use from the tools for the admin side, the employee side, and my custom tools that I've built myself. I have some really cool things to show you guys, so I hope this helps. Let's just dive in. All right, guys, I have also launched a Discord channel and it is getting awesome in there. It's active. We got like almost 400 people in there. If you want all of my resources, my, my check-in sheet, check-out sheet, my pricing sheet, I'm gonna put the phone calls that I've recorded of all my competitors so you can hear all of that. Anything that I find valuable or that I use will be in the Discord channel. Discord is an app that you install on your phone that lets you chat and join other like-minded groups or chat rooms, so please, join the discord in the link below the link below download discord and come hang out with me so i can help you guys build your junk removal business no catch no nothing no fee just join and you can ask me questions anytime you want what's up guys my name is andrew i'm a serial entrepreneur a software engineer and a junk removal business owner i started a junk removal business as a stepping stone to return to my passion of technology and apps i invite you guys to stick around hang out follow me on my journey from becoming a junk removal business titan to building a billion dollar home services app. So, let's dive in guys. We're gonna talk tools. So we got my admin tools, okay, which is what I guess I consider my tools when I'm on the computer, when I was doing phones, but I'm not doing phones anymore. So this is more so actually for my team. They cover a lot of stuff. So they're like customer service and dispatch. So this is like all the tools that they use and I use as well. I do have most of these open as well because throughout the day I'm keeping tabs on things and then the tools that the employees use. But let's just start with administrative tools. We built this dashboard. Thanks, Brittany. Brittany made it pretty looking and did all this. I recorded all of these videos using a really cool tool called Loom, which is what I'm using to screen record now. So I recorded all these videos of how to use the software, just a whole bunch of stuff and videos and resources, mostly videos of me recording how to process payments, how to use Ring Central, how to create a certificate of insurance, and all these are here. So if we ever were to onboard somebody new or they forget, it's all right here. I've also put all the phone call videos they initially had to watch in the dashboard, and of course the links to all the tools and the spreadsheets. So this is what's really cool guys about my team that I have trained my awesome team. I have a custom P&L that I use to track my income and expenses, phone calls, everything. Every day, at the end of the day, they log the P&L, they log call stats and employee tips. So if you see, I have these three major files, these spreadsheets, and I'm gonna show you guys the spreadsheets now. So if you guys like these spreadsheets, I can maybe kind of make it uh, reusable for you guys. I can have my guys, you know, clear all the data, make it so you guys can use it. But let's just start with the profit and loss, my daily P&L. So as you can see, we log all income, all the calls, calls booked. I log KPIs, so the average job size for the month, the average cancellation rate, profit margin. You can see like January was rough. Total number of calls, calls booked, and then the total profit for this month was 15. So as you can tell guys, this is a slow month for me. I usually do about minimum 110 to 140, but this was a slow month. And this is something I wanna talk about with you guys in the future is that you'll see most days we profit, but not every day. That is how it is in this business. But anyways, I log each truck. I log my phone labor, maintenance. Under the truck, I log everything. Gas, local service ads. I track everything. I even have a fixed expenses tab over here where I have all my expenses for literally everything I'm using. So if my fixed expenses change, I can go over here and I can put what the months for those fixed expenses were. Because on my KPIs, you'll see that I have fixed expenses, and of course, all this labor, this is all calculated. I input all this data at the end of the day, every day. I can see my landfill, my gas, my ads, everything. But that is the, the P&L. Now we have the tip out sheet. This is how I do tip outs for each crew. So I was doing tip outs a different way before, and it was like always driving me crazy. So now we have this new way that we have come up with for tipping using Excel or Google Sheets. And it has been 
awesome. Look at the tips this week, $527 each in tips for three days. That is the Clover machine doing its magic. And I have my customer service, Brittany and Edward, you guys are awesome. They log all of the stuff for me at the end of the day. I also have them log call stats, number of calls, total book, canceled, online booking. So they log every call that comes in so I can keep track of all my stats. That is my dashboard guys. And this dashboard is awesome because the amount of time it saves me having my team input all that data every day at the end of the week and kind of see what needs to be adjusted where we're losing money where we're making money it's pretty awesome there's also a really cool checklist on here that they can see so they can check with the employees what needs to be done and what they need to do through the, throughout the day for example post a craigslist ad so they can go through this and check off and make sure they don't forget anything that needs to be done throughout the day but the daily p l is is great it really lets me see my numbers from a high level so I could see my all my statistics. January just beat me up. Yeah, so I'm excited for February and especially March getting back into like spring. So super excited for that. I could share this with you guys. Just comment down below if that seems interesting to you. Let's talk about Clover. I don't need to tell you guys about Clover again, but if you haven't heard me talk about Clover, Clover is my credit card machine that I use to process payments. If you don't know why I use Clover, and I talk about Clover a lot, not only is the dashboard great, everything you can do in this dashboard is awesome. Clover's awesome for processing payments, but what makes Clover awesome is the credit card machine itself. It's this giant machine that you can use anywhere. When I say giant, think about like iPhone size, but like way thicker prints out a receipt, has internet everywhere. It will double your tips from whatever platform you're using right now. I strongly encourage switching to Clover. And if you want to, I strongly encourage you to use my guy because my guy hooked it up. He's the best. I met him on a junk removal job. He was able to get me approved for the machine, even with bad credit at the time. Hit me up, comment below, message me. I can get you the Clover machine. It'll change the game for you. When I switched from the original PAX machine that I was using and also the little machine, the device on here where you use a credit card reader, my tips just skyrocketed. A lot of the time, I gotta process payment over the phone because the realtor's not there, whatever. I always take payment over the phone. They'll call me, I'll take the credit card over the phone, I'll ask them if they wanna throw a tip in, boom. You don't even need the cardholder name, just the card number expiration, blah, blah, blah. And I do, and you can email them a receipt, it's done. You could also send them obviously an invoice and they could uh, pay themselves, but I try to do credit card over the phone. If they're not there, definitely get Clover. And if you check my Discord channel, you see even some people in the Discord channel have switched to the Clover device and now they're seeing bigger tips too. So Clover is great. That's what I use for processing payments. Let's jump over to Workies. Workies, guys, I have talked a lot about House Call Pro and Workies. If you want to know more about Workies versus House Call Pro, I put a video right here. Watch that video and I'll break down exactly why I use Workies versus House Call Pro, the pros and cons of each. Obviously, keep an eye out for my app at the end of this year. Hey guys, real quick, if you like what I'm talking about right now, please comment if you have questions, like, subscribe. It lets me know that you like the content I'm putting out, especially if you have ideas or comments of stuff you want me to post next. Comment down below before you finish the video. Back to the video. Let's go over force. This is the GPS trackers that I use on my trucks. This is great because you can see where the truck is parked. You can see how long they've been parked. So you can have an idea of how long they've been working. It shows DTC error codes. You can see the battery life. You can see the timeline history, how long they've been at each spot, how fast they're driving, how many times they've braked. I cannot live without this and neither can my customer service team. You have to use force. So force is incredible, guys. It's like $20 per device per truck. When you're on the truck, it's cool because you can at least see the DTC error codes. You can see anything that's wrong with your truck. It'll pop up. It'll let you know what's going on. So then you can look up the error code and see how serious it is. But when you get off the truck and you have people driving your truck around, it's a must. Force by Mojo. It integrates with House Call Pro, which is pretty cool if you do use House Call Pro. And there's real-time tracking so the customers like can see like an Uber driver where they're at. I'm hoping to get them integrated with Worky soon. I'm doing what I can to make that happen. So force tracking for my trucks. Let's get into Telegram, guys. 
So Telegram is probably one of the most important tools that we use. It's how we communicate with the team. Telegram is one of the best chat applications I've found that works consistently across desktop, the Android app, the iPhone app. I'm living and breathing this because I have chats for each crew and inside each crew has me, the two truck crew members and both phone operators so that they can at all times be in communication with the team. And then I also have a separate chat for receipts or all the crew members part of that chat. I have every crew member send the receipt as soon as it comes in and it goes into the receipts chat and then my customer service team logs it into the daily p l so i'm keeping tabs the minute they come in and then of course the truck chats and i have my chats with my operators you know the la week chat the, L the ventura week chat the weekend crew the la receipts chat we live and breathe on telegram this is how we 100 communicate with the team day to day all of the receipts my communication with the operators themselves. Telegram is a must. It could probably be useful to you only if you have one employee or two employees as well, because you can get off personal text message and use an, a separate app for business communication. And it's great. There's memes, there's emojis. You can do audio voice notes, video. You can add members and make group chats. It's just so much better than WhatsApp. It's so much better than Facebook Messenger. It's so much better than text message. Slack is too much. Telegram just seems to work perfect for internal team communication. Let's go over Google Maps. Of course, you know, my customer service team, they have Google Maps open at all times. Of course, I trained them in the geography for two weeks of all of LA. Before I got them on the phones, I pop quiz them every couple days until they learned all of LA. And I started with my custom map where I broke it down into sections. I made a custom map using Google My Maps and I call this my dump map. And this is actually useful for your employees too. All of these are dumps. I send them this and they can load it up on their phone and see where the nearest dump is at any time, which dumps are open Sundays, Saturdays. So, you know, I don't, they don't need to see all of these. They just need to see the dump sites. So this is my special little dump map that I had the customer service team train on. I have all the crew look at and learn where the dumps are and they learn pretty fast, but they just pull this up if they need to see the nearest dump. And anytime we find a new one, I add it to the dump map. Dump map is super awesome as well. Definitely recommend doing something like that for your team or just for you in general, like just having a locate a map with all of the dumps nearby, just in case you forget. Call rail is awesome. It shows you your call recordings. You can hear the call recordings. I can do transcript search. So I can search the transcription right here if I ever need to type in a keyword. So CallRail will come with ClicksGeek. Automatically, if you use them for Google Ads, you can set up multiple different phone numbers so you can track where phone calls are coming from. And of course, transcription search. And then of course, the voice recordings. I've had to use voice recordings past quite a few times to show the customer what I said, or maybe I messed up and they were right. And I can honor what I said over the phone. CallRail, very useful. Now let's go to Ring Central. How it works right now is CallRail redirects to Ring Central. This is Ring Central right here. This is what I use to manage my call center. I'm going to do an entire video on Ring Central, but here's the thing. I just recently discovered a new phone service called Open Phone. I'm going to be looking into Open Phone over the next this week, and I'm going to make a, a video on which I think is better. But you don't need Ring Central until you get off the phones. You can just have a separate phone number, a phone line. I use a separate iPhone with its own new phone number, its own iCloud account, so I can text with customers and take phone calls from that phone number and that phone for the first eight months. There's no reason to switch to a call center until you're ready. You're just gonna be wasting money. However, though, if open phone works as good and as cheap as I'm hearing it is gonna be, it's not gonna hurt to set up your call center and have it ready to go. So when you do add an agent for your first time, it's just like that and you know how to do it. And how to hire from the Philippines in the first place to set up your own call center so you can grow as you add more locations. But I use Ring Central right now to handle my call menu, my company greeting, my call like holding or transferring calls to me, adding new agents, just everything. So that is the end of the administrative tools. I use a lot of tools. I got my own custom dashboard, Clover, Workies, Telegram, Force, Google Maps, of course, because you gotta have it to try to see where the customer is. Dump map doesn't count. Call rail, Ring Central. So that is eight freaking tools that I use on the daily. I'm not using Google Maps as much anymore because my customer service team is. 
we're gonna dive into some employee tools. Let's start with Homebase. So guys, Homebase is what I use for time clock and payroll. It's awesome because you can actually go into their time clock cards. You can see where they clocked in, where they clocked out. The apps work really well on both Android and iPhone. I can see where they're clocking in and clocking out and I can match it with the, the truck GPS too with force. So for example, if you go to vehicles, we go to this vehicle here. You can kind of see where their where their start trip ends, where they end, and at the end of the day, you can see where they when they park and turn the car off, when they turn the car on, and you can match it with the time clock. So you can see if they're trying to steal hours or making sure they're not forgetting. And I can go through and adjust their clock ins and clock outs when they mess up, which happens quite often. And guys, if you know of any other apps that you think I would actually think is better, or you suggest something better, this is just what I have discovered over time that works out great for me. So that's home base. Home base is what I use for time clock and payroll and they do workers compensation through next and whip around is great. I used to have a paper check in check out sheet, which will work great if you guys just have a couple employees, but you are going to want to get something a little more sophisticated when you have multiple trucks. I made my own inspection forms. So let's just check out the like the start of day one. So it makes you take a photo of the odometer, which is really cool. So it scans the odometer. It's linked with some truck database. So it lets you know when certain inspections are due or uh, standard maintenance. I added all these items. So they have to check, 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 check. If one item is wrong, it'll do a failed inspection. Necessary equipment. And then it forces the drivers to take photos of their shirts. So I know that they're wearing their shirts and it forces them to use the camera. Can't import from your camera roll. I have them check out all the necessary tools, a signature, and ask them both to clock in, clock out. And then when you do the check in, check out form right here, so when they check out at the end of the day, I have them take a photo of the truck so I can see how trash it is, how full is the truck, so the next crew coming in the next day knows if they need a dump or knows if they need a dump the night before, they can check. I didn't even think of this until like way later down the road until I started using I was like, wait, why don't I have them mark how much space is left on the checkout sheet? It's helped so much. Not total sales. I thought I told them to, <laughs> they're supposed to put the total amount of money earned, but it's four jobs a total of who knows how much we made today, 1500, 2000 from this truck alone, how much tips they earned and total cash on hand. So I know how much cash is in the envelope at all times or in the binder. So whip around is great. I've been using this for about a month now. It's really cool to see like the average inspection is five. So you can kind of see that your crew is like doing the check-in and check out. Now I need to start doing inventory on tools. Basically basically checking in and checking out the tools and physically taking a photo of each tool at the end of the day. So those are the employee tools, guys. So anyways, guys, this is my Discord channel. I'm in here 24 seven. It's also a phone app, so please, Make sure you download Discord, okay? That's on your phone. It's a chat app. Make sure your notifications are on so anytime I message you guys or you have questions and I respond to you, you can see my messages. But join the Discord because I am very, very active in here. Look at all this conversation going on, guys. We got some, we got some good conversation in here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions at all, please subscribe, like, comment all of that stuff because it lets me know that what I'm putting out is helping you guys. Comment down below what you guys wanna see next because I have a nice little juicy schedule of content coming out. And as always, toodles.